So we built an um, eye tracking system with these 3D glasses right here. Uh, so you, you, so you 3D printed the glasses. That's right. Yeah. And then you and, and and then you customized them with a a pair of photo transistors and then a little green infrared LED. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, there's a gyroscope right here. Oh, and there's a gyro there. Yep. And so the the transistors give you the the horizontal position of the eye motion, and the gyro gives you vertical position of your head. Yep. Yep. That's and great. and so the idea is that you mostly move your eyes back and forth, and not so much up and down. Exactly. Particularly if you're wearing bifocals like I am. Okay. Right. <laughs> and and then over on the microcontroller board is some some amplifiers, probably. Um, yep, we've got, uh, well, well, the most, uh, like, important part of our board here is actually the wireless connection here. Oh, okay. Um, the yeah. signal from the phototransistors actually just goes straight through uh, They go through here, which, they're just resistors from VCC to, mm -hmm. to ground, like in the lab 4 circuit. Um, basically, we're just looking at the voltage from the phototransistors. Okay. Yep. And going to the ADC. Yeah, originally we had some setup for um, like blinks basically just to check uh -huh. if it was working. Mm -hmm. um, and so we moved uh, away from that towards using the internal ADC on the microcontroller. Okay, so you got so you're so you're looking at the two voltages for the ADC and the hypothesis here is that as you move your eye the reflectivity changes because your pupil is a different color than than the surrounding eye. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Right. And and what does the wireless do here? Um, well, the wireless actually connects to the space station on this side of Oh, here. okay. Um, and so the, we actually had some smaller circuits of uh, the, um, the eye tracker board such yeah. that you could just hold it onto your head, but um, it ended up having some solder issues. I see. So the, the, the ov overall goal would be to have this, this board small enough to put on your forehead. Exactly. Right. Uh huh. And then this, the base station would remove, would get the head tracking information. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get it. But for right now, it's kind of dangling. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So put it on. Let's see this thing work. Okay. And 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 what's the application here? Are you controlling a mouse with it? Yes. Oh uh, yeah. There's a mouse cursor. Well, we were attempting to control a mouse with it. We have some pretty good y-axis resolution, and x-axis is currently skewed left, but we were adjusting it. Okay. Right All right. So let's let's see it. So. <laughs> okay. So to pull this a little, so it doesn't fall. Right. And basically. You can't sit up too straight, otherwise the gyro goes down and it uh -huh. appears like it, you're going down. So it's like sit like this like, to make the glasses straight, basically. You got it. And uh, the LED should be right in front of your eye. Uh huh. Um, just control it. All right. So we put the cursor in the center. You press this to start, and then you turn on this. So yeah. first, I'm going to try moving right. It's skewed left. Okay, it's skewed left. But are you are you controlling velocity or are you controlling um, just position actually? So okay, so you're you're going for absolute position. Right, right. So so if I move my head down, it goes down. If I move my head up, it jumps up. Now what am I? What, what should be? It's uh, on the corner here. Oh so yeah. yeah. It's okay. kind of difficult to see. Oh, I see. It's way over at the edge yeah. of the screen. Because, uh, yeah, we actually had good x-axis resolution until we added gyro in, and somehow it's, it's affected something. So do you think... It's really buggy. Yeah. Do you think you could get this tuned up enough? Well, turn and look at me for a minute so I can get the idea. No, leave them on. Okay. I just want to... Okay. So, do you think you could get this tuned up enough that it would uh, track eye horizontally? Yeah, we already we already actually had good X horizontal traction. Uh -huh. So, like, if you look towards the right, the, the uh, hey guys, guys, bye, please. Thank you. If you look towards the right, the cursor would definitely move right, and if you looked left, the cursor would move left. The thing is, then we tried to get it to stay still. Right, because you want to be able to click. Right. So we actually have click resolution by a tilting of the head. Um, and so when we tried to integrate those two pieces, um, it, it started to skew left, and we couldn't go back to the place where it was working. So we were still debugging. So you're, so you're still debugging the, the, the analog inputs. It, could you make it self-calibrating so that you put it on and... Yeah, we actually, that was one of our original goals to make it uh, self-calibrating. So we had, uh, actually we have some code in there on the transmitter side that 
um, when you tilt your head, we start the calibration process. Um, and that would take the uh, full, uh, you would start by looking to the left, and it would record that value as mm -hmm. the min. Mm -hmm. You look to the right, or then you tilt your head to the right, you look to the right, and that would be the max. Um, when we tried to implement that uh, th through the wireless, it didn't work out fully well, so we went back to our original basic uh, mm -hmm. implementation of just getting left to go left and right to right uh, without any calibration. All right. <clears throat> So what's the so the next step here is to is to work on the on the reflectivity and the calibration. Do you think it works better with dark pupils or light pupils? It should work better with dark pupils because the light gets absorbed more, so you can see more of a difference between the white part of your eye and the. Pupil. Okay, what about what about blue eyes where you have the 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 the, the iris is light but the pupil is black? Do you think that would be better or worse? Tested on that. So it would be interesting to do because one, one, an aspect that of, of this would be if it was person independent, right? Yeah. And that would and, be a major goal. And and so it would be interesting to know if it worked the same, better, or worse. I mean, one of the students last year built a 